Bayek, what good fortune! I thought it would be years before we saw you again. Hail in peace, Menahet. How is your family? <laughs> the children seem to grow larger by the minute. My wife and I have our hands full. And you? Is there any news of... None. I forget myself. There are so many things in your life best not spoken of. Forgive me. I see by your garb that you have been promoted. Ah, yes. The High Priest, in his grace, made me his second. And my rank is not the only thing he has changed. You must see the temple. You will give me a tour? Of course, of course. At the moment of your pleasure. Ready to see our beautiful temple? After you, Menehet. Or is it servant of the goddess? Menehet will do for one as good as family. This is far from the sorry ruin of my last visit. Yamu now plays constant host to ceremonies showing our rustic way of life, which attract many visitors with more gold than sense. Uh, a description well suited to Alexandrians. How does this sit with your faith? I confess that my thoughts are sometimes uneasy. By a gang of ruffians, huh? Silent as gifts. Uncle Bayer! Uncle Bayer! Hello, Uncle. Jewels of my life, why have you left your mother's side? Pick me up, Uncle Bayer! Ah, see now, there's no need to attack a man from behind. We're not numbering him four to one, huh? You told us to secure every advantage possible over a tender's fall. Yes, yes, yes. And I am very dangerous! <laughs> Hide well, for the wanderer stalks your path! There, Naila. You're getting in the priest's way. Nothing. 
Ayla, are you following me? You might get lost without me. It's a big temple. Asina, you must come down from here. This would be a good place to watch the stars. Beast, Only the priests are permitted here. Of the you know that. Sorry, stay back. Stay calm. I will help you out of there. Tunnel. Thank you, Uncle Fire. That's the last of the children. this fraud abounds in your market and you claim you can do nothing the dealings of the market are beyond me speak rather to your offending merchant <laughs> priest you have proven as false as your mummies man ahead your brood is delivered safely home thank you friend hey, what did that fool want with you some visitors having purchased religious objects are angry when our village has no more dead cats to sell them though not a merchant I am often the means by which the aggrieved snuff their anger. This matter needs a firm hand. to the right place, Neb. We have everything you could possibly want. What I want is to ask about false idols sold at the market. I have heard rumors of such, but there is nothing to them. Now leave if you want to avoid trouble. <laughs> Tell me of the fake mummies being sold here. I have no desire to be dragged into this. Menahed sent me. Your silence is an insult to his holy office. Yeah, I wish to anger neither him nor the gods. We are forced to sell items of lesser quality. Or see our stalls destroyed. Who is behind this? I can say no more now. Let us meet tonight, where the village turns to farmland. <laughs> Got a 
mames! Magi, great warrior, come! I sell you what you want. You need it, I have it. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Redda has your back in these desolate lands. You are but a boy. How did you come by such fine treasure? Locked from the ancient lands of the desert, the sunken vessels of the Nile, refined by handmaidens of the gods, weapon reforged in Nubian mines, Persian jewels, and Assyrian treasures. I have it all. I see. You are well traveled for such a young man. Old wisdom, Neb. I have acquired from long nights in the desert with my camel. I will see what you have. Come, look around. If you want good Neb, I have other jobs too. A day, I can say. This looks like a child made it. My friend, I am glad to see you have kept our appointment. Come, sit with me and share a drink of wine. I do not have time for that. <sighs> it is a beautiful night. Let us enjoy the coolness of the air for a moment before turning to business. Merchant, I am not here to take in the air. Who is behind the traffic of false icons? Well, you see, it is no simple story. There are many involved in this terrible affair, but they would all tell you the same thing. Pity the trusting man, for he suffers great pain. Evil, and you will always find it. Really unknown waters always brings the risk of shipwreck. This was the way I said his curiosity will be fatal. as well as you can perhaps afford to be trusting. Talk, or you will meet the same fate as your friends. That will not be necessary. Among the dunes, southeast of here, is the bandit camp where the fake mummies are made. I suppose you would go and destroy it now. Better I smash the camp than your head. <coughs> Destroying these forgeries will earn the favor of the gods. As Ra lives, a disgrace.
off limits. Can you believe how stupid it is? Hey! And now, anti you worm! Magi have a duty to the gods. We must be strong and ready to fight. But we must only fight when it is just. I'll practice hard, Papa. I want to be strong. Magi have a duty to the gods. We must be strong and ready to fight. But we must only fight when it is just. I'll practice hard, Papa. I want to be strong and hunt like you do. You are already better with your weapons than many men. You will make a fine Magi, son. Like Mom says, may your victories multiply.
Can I use the burdens of an old friend? Tonight, we will stage a grand spectacle. Our goddess Sekhmet defends the people against Isfet's chaos. But Pamu, our champion, is nowhere to be found. The High Priest will judge me responsible for his absence. I'll have a look. Sekhmet bless you. His home is near the market, but check the tavern first. It pains me to ask you for a further favor. Who does like a drink now and again? Stinks of beer. Oh, thank you. I've been trying to get him to leave for hours. Menahet. That is Pamu! What has happened to him? His passion for toasting Sekhmet has exceeded his head for drink. This is a disaster! People have come from the Red Land and the Black to see him fight! If a fight is all that is needed, I could replace him. Of course, Magi! You honor yourself in saving me from disgrace. Speak to the High Priest in the Temple Courtyard. He will take care of the rest. Your Holiness, I am here to fight for Sekhmet. You're not Pamu. 
He was meant to play Sekhmet. Pamu is... ill. He is recovering at the temple. Fine. Follow me. This is a friendly bout. You must stay vigilant. Do not fear. Sekhmet will receive a fine tribute. We give thanks for your presence on this sacred night. We invite your witness on the solemnity of our customs. We unveil... Should malice cling too strongly to your hearts, Isfet, the evil one, shall smite the goddess ah! and condemn Yamu to a hundred seasons of darkness. But should your hearts be pure, the goddess shall favor us. Shielding us from the obscurity of chaos! Let the battle begin! As the time unknowns, Sethmet and the Lioness has shielded us from Isbeth's greed. Isbeth was once husband to Ma'al, the goddess of all. Tampering with her scales of judgment, he grew fat on the souls of mortals. Ma'at cast him out of the hall of justice. In his hunger, he returned. But Sekhmet knew his heart and guarded the war against the truth. Their battle lasted twenty days and nights before Sekhmet submitted to the goddess. The lioness is found with His fangs will cleave the darkness! This is 
fangs will cleave the darkness. As you weaken, I grow stronger. Chaos will Step that breathe of heat into her body. The warrior of Sechmet is back! I could swear you were the Blood Eater herself. Ah. The priest's recounting of the battle between the goddess and Isfet was <laughs> new to me. It is a tale of his own invention. You will not hear it outside Yambu. Would that you'd agree to stay with us longer. But I know that greater duties call you. I'll say goodbye to the children before I leave. Do so. They'll miss you. You are always welcome in Yamu. Whenever your journeys bring you to our gnome. Keep the mask and staff of the goddess as poor tokens of our respect. Oh. 